Hello you guys. Today I will be talking about Keisha Anderson and Jeremy Postel's book called Cue the Relations. I bought the book for like $24.99 and it was 52 pages and I started at 2 o'clock and I finished at 6. For the most part, the book is kind of sad. Um, it has like a few happy spots in it. But what I like about it is how Jeremy tells his part, how um, he's telling what men think about women and how Keisha gets straight to the point. I enjoyed the book, but... In the beginning, Keisha talks about how she wanted everybody to know that she was dating a girl or whatever and that same girl was kind of jealous of Keisha and when somebody looked at her she wanted to fight and it was one girl the girl got into it with and she beat the girl up in the bathroom and that same girl proposed to Keisha and she ended up abusing Keisha then Keisha gets into this another relationship with the girl and she was a little better but the girl was showing more love to the doll than Keisha and Keisha was living with her they ended up breaking up but they were still going to counseling and after the girl pulled a no show at counseling Keisha met this dude named Junior and Junior came up to Keisha and was talking to her and read her this poem about his ex-girlfriend well it was for his ex-girlfriend and when Keisha went outside he asked him he asked Keisha for her number and Keisha gave it to him even though she was hesitant Jimmy talks about how he was in three relationships prior to Keisha uh, the first one he went with was his first love and he was in bed laying down with her and he saw a hickey on her neck and it wasn't from him so, I guess that's what turned him into a savage. And after that, he said he was in the streets having sex and doing drugs and alcohol because he didn't know how to deal with his father and brother dying. Then he goes on to talk about his love, his first love, and that was basketball. He also had this girl that he met in college she showed him love and he would drive five hours no seven hours every weekend to go see her and she would um stay at home and walk to work or whatever and she let him draw the car so he would come back every weekend to go see her but his friend ended up dying and yet again he turns to sex and partying he started failing school and he no longer felt like driving those seven hours so, they ended up moving to Iowa, and then they ended up breaking up. Um, he broke his hand, and then she came back to his rescue, and then they stopped talking. Now we're back at Keisha's part. She says that men are intimidated by her. However, Junior wasn't like that. He valued her. And their relationship didn't last long because he was in the military. And there was an age difference and she didn't like that. And he didn't like the fact that Keisha didn't want him to be a man. She wanted to pay for everything. But he didn't want that. He wanted to pay for stuff. After her and Junior broke up, she took a break from social media. And when she got back on, she saw Jeremy. Picture. So she was like, let me inbox him let me inbox him okay so she inboxed him i don't know what she said but she inboxed him two minutes later he was like what's up it's like, <laughs> <laughs> so two minutes later he inboxed her back and two days later they met up and they have been inseparable ever ever since he took her on a trip to Miami. He 
helped her out with her businesses. He cooked her breakfast and lunch every single day. Yes. And most importantly, he showed her that love that she wanted. You know, that love that makes you want to cry. Now, we're back on Jeremy's part again. He talks about how women have this unrealistic view on men. When in reality, men aren't really taught how to love. He says his father didn't teach him. But his stepfather, when he came in, he taught him a little something. He said his um, stepfather was blind and he still opened doors for his mother and he pumped gas for her. So that's what he learned. And he said he still opened doors to this day. And he was talking about how he can make a woman feel special even though his intentions aren't good. Like they're not to be in a serious relationship. Then. He talks about how women will commit to a man before a man really commits to her. A man won't change until he finds the right woman. And that's so true. And he also talks about how men glorify the idea of sleeping with multiple women. You know, like when he's with his homeboys or they always talk about how many chicks they can get. He also starts to talk about how the time when Keisha messaged him, he was, he wanted to talk to Keisha, but he was kind of scared because he didn't want to hurt Keisha because he knew she was a good girl and he was tired of hurting good girls. And he talks about how he paid the rent and he helped pay the rent and the car note when other people thought he wasn't paying anything. They thought he was using Keisha and stuff, but that was far from the truth. Now we're back at Keisha's part and she talks about how women need to hold men more accountable for their actions and she also talks about how she's constantly being judged on YouTube sometimes in a good way sometimes in a bad way it just comes with the job um she also starts to talk about how she was pregnant and she miscarried and then she had twins later she got pregnant with twins and then jeremy comes in and talks about the pregnancy with the twins and keisha talks about how she wasn't giving jeremy any sex and you know when you don't give no man no sex they going out there to have sex with somebody else that's just how they are it's not right but that's what they do um He ended up telling Keisha that he was lusting after her women because Keisha asked him something. And one night, Keisha's friend saw him in the car with another woman. Jeremy talks about the time Keisha made him sleep in the basement. And this was after the premise ring situation. She told him she didn't want him anymore. They broke up for like two weeks. And in the midst of those two weeks, he slept with another woman. The condom broke. Yeah. Sad situation. Um, they got back together after a trip that Keisha went on. They did the nasty because they wanted it to work out. She ended up pregnant with the last kid. And lo and behold, this girl texted message him or text him or whatever she got in touch with him and she told him in her third trimester that she was pregnant with his kid and he had to tell Keisha so he went there and told Keisha you no know, Keisha was upset Keisha thought it was a prank when he told her she was looking around for the camera but there was no camera because Jeremy telling the truth and I felt so bad for her because you can tell that she's a very very good woman good women always get cheated on it doesn't pay to be good anymore you have to be ruthless 
in this world we live in because they don't like it when we're too nice niceness gets you nowhere in a relationship majority of the time but anyways Keisha was in the beginning stage of her pregnancy when, her, when he told her that so Keisha didn't find out that it was his baby until two weeks before she gave birth she ended up finding out two weeks before he I mean before she gave birth that her man got another woman pregnant with the son that they always wanted <clears throat> and when he told Keisha she said you know what you gotta do don't you take care of the baby and I guess he looked at her and walked away and Keisha let out this loud cry like that really brought a tear, tear to my eye but that about sums up the book it was good you should go buy it in all honesty my heart goes out to her I've been watching her for a while now like she, even though I'm older than her she's somebody that she got her business together she got her life together well she kind of have it together the relationship part is like another story she's getting it together but like her business and stuff I love that and that's something that I want to do with my life and she's a person that often get criticized for no reason at all and you just feel her pain through this book it really takes a strong woman to be with a man knowing that he has another child out there that you didn't give birth to she's very strong I don't know if I could handle it but she's strong and I applaud the both of them for telling their story because that's something that a lot of people deal with. They really do. Some people are ashamed to admit it, but they admitted it. At the end of the day, everybody has been cheated on. It's life. Love is so powerful. It can make you feel so high like you're in heaven or so low like you're dying a slow death with the devil. yes but we just have to ask ourselves when is enough enough until we can love ourselves we can't love nobody else and until next time go get my favorite youtubers book because you will like it peace